hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to create watermarks that we can use behind our different content this watermark component was recently added to the latest version of and design to see how we can use it let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using the latest version of and design 5.1 at the time of creating this video and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the watermark component from and design and start using it so it will be watermark and inside that we will be showing the content on which we want to watermark to be appearing so let's start from a simple div component and give it a little style we can say its width is maybe 500 pixels and its height is also 500 pixels there will be another bracket here and here we can say this is the content over the watermark right and in the watermark we can give the content that we want to be shown as a watermark so we can say our watermark uh, text is code with amir and if i save it here you go it has shown the watermark right and we can adjust uh, the spacing between these watermarks so we can say the gap and here we will be providing the the gap horizontal gap and the vertical gap so if we want suppose we say it's 50 pixel and 50 pixel so it will add more watermarks uh, to adjust this gap and also so by default the first watermark starts from uh, offset of 50% of uh, this gap so it will start from 25 25 so if we want to change that we can adjust that as well and uh, here again we will be providing an array of two numbers so suppose we want to say the offset is 0 cross 0 so it will move to the very top and if we say it's uh, 100 cross 100 the first watermark will start from 100 cross 100 pixels right so let's make this maybe a reasonable 10 by 10 right and right now uh, every watermark is rotated uh, to a some degree by default is uh, minus 22 degrees so if we want to rotate it to a different degree so we can give it a different value like we can say minus 45 there you go it's rotated at minus 45 and if i give to minus 90 there you go right so here we can adjust uh, based on different values and also uh, here it is only single line if we want to make it multiple lines so instead of this uh, string text we can give it inside an array and we can give the second text as well so maybe we can call it uh, watermark as a second text right and we can increase this by providing multiple strings in an array right and also we can style this watermark according to our needs if needed so that will be under the font and here we can provide our different options like we can change the color maybe we can say it's red and we can change the font family font size font style weight etc so let's change the font size maybe we can say it's only 10 pixels here you go right so this is how we can create the watermarks with different strings adjust the gap between these adjust the offset from starting point and adjust its rotation also we can adjust its font and if we change this back so here you see the text is appearing uh, on top of this watermark right and if somehow the uh, watermark is not appearing uh, behind the text so we can adjust its uh, z index as well so by giving up value of minus 10 or 20 of or something we can adjust it accordingly right and also instead of this uh, only text if, if we have some sort of we can say our logos that we want to appearing uh, as a watermark we can add that as well instead of the content so for that we can use the image prop and here we will be providing the link to the that our watermark image so i have pasted my youtube logo link so here, here you go 
and we can adjust its width and height as well so we can say the width is maybe we can say 30 pixels and height is also 30 pixels if i save it here you go right so this is how it will look like uh, when you choose the image instead of the content right so the idea here is that uh, wherever we want to add the watermark we will encapsulate that particular component with the watermark component from end design and we can provide our content as a watermark and adjust their gap offset rotation and their width and height also the font style and z index etc but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you